Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check. Still the controller is not working. The next step is to enable or disable Steam input. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then over here select disable Steam input and then check if that does not work you can even try enable Steam input and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to unplug if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any external devices connected which you are not using, disconnect it. If you have any kind of USB adapter connected or dongle connected, disconnect it. If you have joystick or any extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor, disconnect multiple monitor setup. Now if you have any kind of virtual controller like VJOY etc, any kind of virtual controller, just you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then check. Next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So go to Steam. On the top right here you can see big picture mode icon. So click on big picture mode icon over here. Now once the steam is in big, big, big picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then check. Now the next step is for PlayStation controller user. So if you're using PlayStation controller, in that case you can use these software like DS4 Windows or REWASD. You can use this software and then check the controller. If nothing is working, you can use the wired controller. So you can connect your controller using the cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.